Fez, would you like to apologize to the gay people in America for that last bit? If I inferred that gay, all gay people were pedophiles, then yes, I should absolutely apologize. So go ahead and do it. I apologize for making it sound like all gay people molest uh, young boys. I know one gay man who doesn't even have sex with other men because he's afraid that they'll kill him or uh, actually have sex with him. Most of the time, they're going to fuck you. Otherwise, they would have, you know, shut this whole thing down a long time ago. That's true. I mean, if really, if there was this, this rash of gay beatings amongst the gay hooker set on Craigslist, yeah. it wouldn't be happening. It happened once years ago, so Fez is nervous. Every day, there's hundreds, if not thousands of posts. I hate to interrupt you, but Liz really wants me to break here. Really? We'll be right back. It's the Ron and Fez Show. Uh, they beat the Gallagher brothers today. It's Van Halen. Artist of the day up on the iBang.com. Chris Stanley, great job today, pal. Not my playlist. I um, I wouldn't put together a Van Halen playlist. I wouldn't know where to begin. I'm not a fan of theirs. I know Jump. I'm aware of that song. All right. If you ever did have a, a kid, and I'm going to ask you and Pips at the same time. All right. Suppose that you had a son mm-hmm. about four years old. And you found out you had to go to the hospital to visit a family member. Would you let Fez babysit? Just Fez and the, and the four-year-old boy? No, I wouldn't let Fez babysit. All right, I'm going to do something here. No. This isn't for show. This is being 100% true. Yeah. Would you let Fez babysit? No, I wouldn't let Fez babysit. Pips? Yeah, probably not. There's wow. No, there's no probably with me. No, I wouldn't let him babysit. Now, is the concern... That he would either try to fuck the kid in the ass or come in the kid's face? Partly. What would the other part be? I don't know. Jerk him off? Yeah. Or just general ass play. Just like, I'm not. General ass play is the Game of Thrones name that he has for himself. That's not a Game of Thrones character. Why would you guys in the world think I would ever, ever harm your kids in any way? I I would just I would no I would not that, also I mean that really fucking hurts. Um, your your feelings are really hurt by what he said. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wouldn't let you. T- I wouldn't let you fucking uh, take care of my four year old. I That's, take care of nieces, a- nephews. It's doing you a favor. You don't have to hang around any fucking crazy four year old. I don't have to defend myself to you. Okay. I wouldn't let you watch my kid in case they start to choke or something because you would panic or else I wouldn't want them to see that you having a fucking panic and weird out in front of it. That would be a legitimate concern. I could see you. I could see any parent saying that. Yeah. Don't let if there's an emergency, but, is Fez going to weird out? But here's Chris Stanley saying he's afraid that you would have sex with a kid. And I didn't you even say Dave said the same thing that he didn't want to bring his kids around here? Yeah. Have you noticed we because haven't seen those two kids of theirs around a long why time? Why would I want to have sex with your unattractive child? <laughs> oh, so just cute kids, huh? Yeah, yeah you, just, you, you, just want, you just fucking... You just want to fuck the hot ones. Yeah, you really did give yourself there. Look, there's plenty of, like, Yelps for babysitters. I'd much rather go through there and get, like, some stranger... And by the way, Dave's kids are cute. Stop being mean. They're very adorable, cute. Adorable. Adorable children. I can say that. I'm straight. Rapeable. I would go so far to say that. That's that's why he has to, pay, you know, be even more diligent because yeah. those kids will get snapped up in an instant by they're, straight guys. Yeah, they were like, "Oh, I wants that." All right, he's doing Davy Mac Thursdays. <laughs> yeah, Davy Mac Thursdays. You know, a few weeks ago. Let's do this. Tell him to bring his son in, and then we'll hide the son somewhere and see if Fez can find him. Okay, I'll, I'll let him know. That's the plan for Thursday. No, I'm the monster. I'm the beast. I can't be trusted around children. Are you fucking serious, dude? No, I'm being sarcastic. The way you said that, I mean, it was so fucking believable. It freaked me out. Did you see me panic? Yeah, I saw it. I just felt like I was doing a show with a pedophile. Yeah, well. Fez, you were so believable when you're sarcastic. I didn't mean to be. Then why do it? All these great nanny services I can get. Um, 
Dave, you're on the Run of Fez show. Uh, my question for Fez is, would you trust yourself around a kid? Because oh, I wouldn't. Point. And the reason why, it's not because you're a so-called gay person, but you're a so-called gay person who doesn't fuck dudes. Fuck right. you. I am not going to harm a kid. But maybe the it's reason... It's ridiculous to constantly, just because you have a sexual orientation, that you're constantly portrayed as the monster. No, Fez, the, no. Po- the point that he's making is you don't seem to want to have sex with adults. I don't want to have sex with children. I know, but most of the time when we think of people who don't want to be somebody in their own age and weight class is because they're a pederast. Oh, my God. I don't think you should be offended by the fact that you are put on a list and if there's any missing children, the police should come to your house. That shouldn't that's, offend you. That's the only reason to be offended, is that you would be on that list. Look. And you had never done Chris, anything. how long have you been with this show? Six years. Over six years. And he doesn't trust you with a kid. No. I know. That's what hurts about it. That, the fact that he knows me and still no. wouldn't think I could, you know, watch his kid without doing something terrible to it. But the fact that you start to cry about that? Makes me feel like you're a pedophile. Why would like, that make? My feelings are really hurt. Yeah, like a pedophile. Yeah. Not like an adult man. He was thinking about one less kid he's going to get a diddle. <laughs> That's, That's one more, one less he's going to get on that I, list. Of his. By the way, Matty could, Ice, if you're listening, cancel half the lunch owner. I'm only buying lunch for me and Ronnie today. That's a third. And what about for Pips? No, Pips is in on it with him. Said I couldn't watch his his kid, his roller cho- coaster child. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. Don't fucking take it the wrong way, Fez, but you just come across as a ped. There's no other way to take it. What if what if I come home and I see Fez with the kid in the in the crib doing God knows what? I'd freak out. Uh, you wouldn't come home and ever see that. How do you, I know? Cuz he would get it done first. God, I hope there's an emergency in your life and I'm the only person possible to sit for you. My life is a fucking emergency. <laughs> Look, let me just say this. The weird thing that he told a story today where he it ended up with his mom saying to him, don't tell your dad that we did this. Oof. Remember that early on? Yeah. 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 Who, that doesn't happen for any other reasons but sexual reasons. Yeah. They always say, don't you fucking tell anyone or you're going to fucking regret it. Why would a mother who fucking disciplined the kid say, don't tell dad you got disciplined? It would only be for sexual reasons. Was that discipline a hand job? He is so fucking life of pie that he doesn't even know who the tiger is in his fucking oh, memory. Don't give it a... <laughs> you didn't see life of pie yet? No, no, no. Some people, I'm saying some people might not have. Fuck them. It's been out for a year. All right. Well, uh, guess what? All the fucking animals. Sonny gets killed going to Jersey. <laughs> How's that for everybody? Sonny gets fucking shot stopping at the fucking toll booth. That's fucked up, huh? Um, here's uh, Chad. You're on the Run Fez show. Hey, what's going on, Ron? Yeah. Hey, uh, just a quick question. Uh, Fez, uh, don't be so offended, man. Would you let... Chris Stanley, babysit or look after one of your children if you were ever to have one or adopt one in your case? I absolutely would have until today. Absolutely. Well, I, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. You, you trust, That's a you bad trust decision. Him I be, couldn't be around a kid. That would really be a bad idea. And not because I touch them, it's because I'd probably lose them. Well, they definitely shit themselves while they were in my presence. I wouldn't know what to do. Ship themselves. Ship. Everywhere. We got to find this uh, bus driver attacking the passenger thing for the I bank. Holy. Oh. It's going on forever. He's punching them in the fucking dust. Oh, it's up on the I bank. Oh. I never get any of the updates. They come fast. And Don't furious. tell me that's the end of the Ron and Pederus show. It's the end of fast. the Ron and Pederus show. 866 Ron Zero Ped. 866 Ron Zero Ped. You made him fucking cry today. 
and then you didn't even try to fix it. You just I'm not, left. I'm not going to try to fix this. Because you think I would do, you think, you honestly think, you and Pips both, that I would hurt your kid. That, well, Fez, that's you've the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Fez. Well, you, you'd think that you were making them feel good, but they would be hurting them. That's, that's the fucking crazy part. That hurts you, Fez? Yeah, it hurts a lot. You've got to admit, though, there is a chance. No, there's no chance. There's. Uh, That's what a, one of the. You don't think say. there's a chance that you could ac- accidentally blow a kid? No, I would never, ever do that. Not a little girl, a little boy. I Not would let you l- watch little girls all day long. Oh, if I had a daughter? Yeah. Oh, God help her, but yeah, just. Go shopping. <laughs> It's the little boy. I wouldn't want to watch your kids now. Those Stanley brats. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they'd be very well behaved. Hey, you ought to open up a fucking cleaning service with your kids and just call it Stanley Cleaners. I'll fucking put those other Stanleys out of fucking business. I'll shut those assholes down. Ew. No. Now who's the pet? <laughs> no, those are adults, though. Your last chance to be part of the next Unmasked with Brad Garrett. Then we got even another on mass to mention after that, right? Shit, yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. When's that going to be done? I got to look at the date. It's very soon, very soon. I will tell you this. It's the biggest star we've ever had. Huge. The biggest star we've ever had. Well, and probably ever will have. This is a fucking gigantic on mm we should probably, with that, when we do the biggest star we've ever had, yeah. lean heavily on the Brad Garrett audience, who are showing their good nature yeah. by showing up for Brad Garrett. Exactly. Go to the iBang request tickets. So if you go to Brad Garrett, you'd be getting special privileges for the next big superstar. The biggest amassed of all time. Fucking huge. Which is coming up very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, you know, giving away that the Brad Garrett's not going on like hotcakes. But you know what? So be it. Uh, go over to the iBag for this on Twitter. I got anything else I need to plug for tomorrow? Anything for tonight? We're good. All right, then I'm going to push this button. Uh... Well, tomorrow we're going to be doing the Condom Girls, so you can check that out on the iBank today, the Condom Girls, but I wanted to plug that in tomorrow's show. Uh, that's the end of my show. Uh, that's the end of my, uh, that's the end of my show. Donk.